Hello and welcome to day four. Can't believe it's already been four days. Uh, today I'm doing a pour for my son Landon. This is his, obviously his initial. Um, tomorrow and Sunday I will also be doing my other two children um, for the colors that they pick. So um, I'm gonna, just going to go through here. I'm going to do uh, kind of a full Dutch pour since it's so small. I'll be using this world's smallest leaf blower. And uh, Landon picked a sour apple. It's a pre-mixed folk art paint. Mountain uh, Master's Touch orange and deco art silver uh, for his colors. So I already put them in a cup and I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> it's very allerginous around here. Okay, so I'm going to put, actually, I think I'm going to start with silver because I want the silver to be um, kind of flow through it. So I'm gonna. Just kind of go around. I might do that again. Orange and gray and green are his favorite colors, so. And he wanted to have some shimmeriness in it, so hence the silver. Dutch pour, for those of you who are new, is where you use a something to blow the paint around. It can be your, uh, you can use your mouth, you can use your, uh, the most common thing, especially for large items, is a um, blow dryer. This is on Amazon. It's the world's smallest leaf blower, which I enjoy for smaller type things. Um, and um, I've used a straw like I did in all the last couple paintings I've done. So there's lots of options, but this one, because there's more for me to do, I'm going to use this. So we will see how it goes. It doesn't have to be completely covered because I'm going to be blowing it around. Thing again. Oh, I really like that. Something I did forget to do, which I'm going to do right now, is pop bubbles. Now I need to think for a reason. My husband uses this when he grills, so I think I'm running out of butane. Okay, so now I want to make sure that I get the sides. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to dab. I'm just going to dab. Like that, because then it, the paint just kind of touches my fingers and then flows along. And keep dabbing around. And that is quite a 
it. The, and actually the size, depending on how they dry, I'll probably paint that. Because I don't want it to be, I know sharp corners tend to be more of a problem with pores versus curvy ones. Almost done. Oh, I forgot that one right there. Sorry if my head's in the way. Okay. Okay, something you definitely want to do too is not to scrape the sides. You scrape around. This is a pretty odd shape, so Ooh. it's not destroy my. You know, I'm gonna add just a teeny bit of apparently uh, not scooping. This corner did not have very much paint on it. So I had a harder time blowing that out, I don't know if you noticed. So I wanted to make sure that was taken care of. Okay, let's get the other corners. Lots of corners with this one, lots of undersides. Okay, and this uh, L I just got at Hobby Lobby. It was, I just was like, oh, hey, that is, there's letters for, and there's actually a W for my last name, so I might do that one too. Okay, I think I want to add some silver to a couple places really quick. Okay, that makes it look a little bit more natural since I added those to it. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to pause this and then bring it up close. All right. Don't mind the messy doggy pad underneath. But there we have it. I really, really like it. I'm going to turn. Actually, I'm going to show you without the flash. Oh, there's some really pretty little cells there. And some really pretty textures. Really nice. Like that. And then with the flash, there's definitely some shimmery lines, but not too many. That one definitely has a lot more right there. So yeah. So pretty. It definitely looks different versus the flash on, flash off. Okay, nice, short, and sweet, and to the point. I hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned tomorrow for the letter G with different colors. And I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye.